Hi Cancer, welcome to your May 2020 General Tarot Reading. It's Raina here. So, I hope everyone is doing well. And um, looking at the month of May. Wow, I, I was just about to say, I, you know, did not um, want to just start talking yet, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely, this is coming out like a relationship reading or a love reading. Because uh, what I was going to say when I got the first card, the Four of Wands is about a happy marriage and um, a happy home if you've had a new home. We'll, we'll talk about that. But then I got other cards that kind of really go along with that. But all positive cards. All positive cards. Okay. All right. Very domestic, bliss-oriented. for what that's worth. And I do, you know, I do try, I, I've done love readings for May, and you can check them out if you're interested, but with the general readings I try to do, you know, any topic, but this is so distinctly about um, love, although I'll just say that the Four of Wands, this is a card of a new home or a, a happy home marriage type of energy but perhaps this has to do with real estate it's possible that um, let me see yes absolutely because I'm thinking of timing wise um, in April there was a full moon in um, Libra and uh, on uh, April 7th and Libra is your fourth house of home and family, the house that you rule in the universal chart. So that could certainly explain, um, you know, kind of like selling your home, um, finalizing a deal on a, on a new home, something along those lines, something with real estate developments, learning about a home that you, that's on the market. I mean, that's a possibility as well. And, um, so this kind of thing can indicate that perhaps um, this is something that is very, that's making you very happy because you really are, uh, this is something that you've wanted. We have in the past position, the Ten of Cups, which is a card of marriage. Um, it can just be like the family is really cohesive together, enjoying one another. Uh, something like that and so putting those two cards together if you have recently gotten married but you're kind of house hunting and now you have found it that can feel very good um, also so it's a card of marriage so if you have gotten married or maybe even engaged but perhaps this is Uh, you know, I, I was going to say this is something that you want, uh, but I don't think it would be that you want to be married. I, the, the past position is the Ten of Cups. So I would think it's more about a recent marriage. Or if somebody was, you know, kind of on the outs with their partner that they were able to... Um, you know, kind of resurrect the relationship, so to speak. And we have as the higher message, the Ace of Cups. And this can be, you know, this is new love, but this can also be, um, I think it can be a child, a pregnancy. And the thing about this is that it might have been the reason for your desire to have a home instead of maybe living in a smaller space, like an apartment is that you were looking for something to raise a family. Now, please forgive me if you if your eggs are dried up or if you're a man who <laughs> a cancerian man who's totally um an outlier and doesn't want any kids um and just wants to hear about business. What can I say about business? What I can say is that um 
that you can you could have still had some good fortune um, in the past, and it could have been real estate. Maybe it has nothing to do with another person, but in any case, um, I wonder if some of you are starting new businesses and you're going and you're doing it from home. Maybe you launched from home, especially since I'm recording this in late April, and we're dealing with. Uh, you know, certain restrictions being placed on us. Maybe you're doing, you're like, I'm not going to stop my Reiki practice because uh, somebody is imposing this on me. I'm going to do long distance, distance healing or whatever from my home. And that's how you're doing it. Because Ace of Cups, that can have a healing connotation to it. What crosses you is the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card of, I think in the in the challenge position, um, sometimes it can be, I'm not even, you know, it's funny, I'm not even necessarily re um, reading it as a reversed card. I decided that because I did not pull it up in a reversed position, that I'm reading it like, you know, even if something's positive when you take it too far, kind of that kind of thing. Because the reversed position, the reversed um, interpretation of the Eight of Pentacles is doing shoddy work, is kind of mailing it in. And I could see, like, you know, with the upright position, it's like maybe even perfectionism, trying to do something right but taking it too far. And, um,. If this is relationship related, you want to make sure, and I think cancers may have a tendency to do this, that you're not um, trying to maybe control things too much within the relationship by being the perfect spouse because you are recently married. Um, because that can lead to uh, the other person feeling like they have no breathing room, that they have to just kind of go along with the program with you. Um, you don't want to smother them. You know, isn't it funny that an S in front of the word mother, which is what cancer is is the uh, symbol of, the mother, is smother. <laughs> and uh, don't try too hard, in other words, in relationships, because you're afraid of making mistakes. You're afraid that the other person will leave you. You can't go through life. You have to almost have, it's almost like a cocky attitude, but it's really not where you know that you're good enough and doggone it, people like you. <laughs> Channeling Stuart Smalley, if anybody's old enough to remember old SNL. Um, but, um, you know, that kind of thing of just what happens in relationships too often where the person is like, oh my God, I have to have this relationship and I have to, I have to please this person. You know, being a people pleaser and that kind of thing. No. That, you know, you're better off being confident, giving the other person some space, and just being authentic, not trying too hard and trying to please them. Because it's, a, it's supposed to be mutual. It's not like a one-way street. I'm just going to plug in my thingy here because it's about to go out. Okay. What's coming in is represented by the Ten of Wands. This is a card of somebody who is, yeah, working very hard. So, um, but this may, you know, if, if let's say that you have recently gotten married, you may just be in the type of profession where you have to work long hours. And I would say um, that this reading may be most relevant for people under the age of 35 uh, because this may be like, a new experience for you that you've gotten married and and that you are um, as a matter of fact ever since uh, Saturn has been in Capricorn that would have been your seventh house of marriage and uh, that is a that uh, Saturn in the seventh can be that kind of like gravitas of having being old enough to know who is your permanent mate but if you're somebody who is on the younger side, your career 
may be like a top priority at this point in life. So you might be like, oh, wow, I just got married, but I have to work 10 hours a day or something. So that might be this thing that you have to juggle. And um, it's funny because the outcome card I got is the Queen of Pentacles. So um, outcome, you know, with these readings, don't get too hung up on the timeline. Um, this could be that you eventually decide if you're a woman, you know, queens or mothers, that you decide, you know, if you're if you're pregnant, you're going to be uh, staying home and having your business at home. I did get pick up that with the Four of Wands as well of a home business, but um, there may be something in the interim that requires a lot of, you know. Um, Elbow grease, <laughs> what else can I say? Like a lot of work before that time. So, you know, kind of preparing for that eventuality where you're going to leave your current position and, uh, you know, do things from home. And um, just this is a good um, card, I think, in general, the Queen of Pentacles for enjoying your home, enjoying the earth. Uh, and gardening could be, you know, in your future, which is for some of us, of course, if you live in Australia, you're scratching your heads right now, I'm sure. <laughs> so unless you live, I'm sure there's, of course, there's warm places, of course, in, in Australia, there's all kinds of climates. So, uh, you know, maybe they, I'm sure they grow all year round. So scratch what I just said. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that. This, and if you'd like a personal reading, like an astrological reading, especially natal chart interpretation, year ahead transits. I have a combo with the natal chart interpretation or just the transits. Please visit me at rainamoonastrology.com. The link is below. Take care. Bye.